Hey everyone, here we are at the Sonoma Raceway, or for the older crew, it's the Infineon Raceway. Uh, we got the whole family here. Denise did a great job driving all, all morning, so I can take a break. Because we woke up pretty early. And here is the required teenager who doesn't want to be here. And Taro! Taro? Yay yeah, Taro! Yeah, so the whole family is here. Um, here, yeah, pretty excited. We're gonna test my uh, new go kart for the first time today. Um, let's go check it out outside. See what's it look like. So the weather forecast was supposed to be 85 degrees. Uh, now it's not close to 930, and this is what it looks like. Um, probably. Yeah, like a day like today, we're just looking around. Better for my face it's not as hot, but uh, so I'm not disappointed. Uh, I'm walking slightly because we did work pretty hard. I did work pretty hard. Uh, my conditioning for the last week or two to get ready for today. But I mean, the upside is, of course, you know, be easier on everybody today. So, more to it. Uh, let's see which one is my part. Uh, oh, yeah, here. The guys put me out on front first, um, but I'll let everybody go first. Um, just trying to get the old racetrack, never been here before myself, so looking forward to it. Um, So, just got down with two sessions. Um, it went very, very well. Uh, car, cart was a lot easier to drive. Um, thanks, Isaac. All the fitness uh, definitely was helping. I could feel it. I'm not intimidated by cart anymore. Uh, first session, just you know, learn a track I've never been here before. Um, it took about a lap or two to learn. Um, most of the corners are medium high speed even a hairpin are just kind of medium speed long hairpins um, so it's pretty obvious the most important is keep RPMs up not brake too hard um, and so the first session is you know really feeling how much brake pressure can I take off you know can I brake a little earlier but a little less but basically you don't want to kill the cart at the apex and then on the second session just working on you know the racing line. Okay, we all know the racing line, but it's finding the right racing line for this kind of car and this kind of engine. I think what I'm finding is, I think I'm turning 
in a little too late, which kind of forces a harder steering lock, and that kind of binds the car. And then we're kind of, I'm kind of jumping on the exit. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of killing the car at apex. So what I'm trying to work on is maybe turning it a little late earlier, and then releasing the car at the apex also earlier. And I think I also need to work on you know also looking up a little higher. I keep telling everybody I teach look up higher, and then you know even I need to work on this so you know exactly how much when to turn in and when to release the steering wheel at the at the, just the perfect moment. So the first session, yeah. So following on what I was talking about, how I ran into the pedal and got to grab him back. Uh, I was talking about. You know, the first session working on how much brake pressure is the right brake pressure for this tire, this kind of cart. Uh, I think it's pretty relatively low horsepower um, and a good amount of grip, not too much. Um, so it's working on the right brake pressure so you don't kill the car at the apex. Uh, you don't kill the speed, trying to carry as much speed through the apex as possible. Uh, the second session working on you know, the right amount of steering. Uh, the right line, you know, I, I'm I find myself maybe the first time I was turning a little too late So I have to turn the steering wheel more so I'm trying to turn it a little earlier and then looking trying to really immediately look far So you can release the steering wheel as um, at the right time on the, on the apex So you're not doing a very you know, edgy corner a pointy corner So the first session I think I'm you know the fastest lap was got down to 58.4 the second session well, actually got down to 57.8, so that's that's good. Uh, fortunately, we're kind of both session were kind of plagued with um, uh, a leak on the front left tire. So you know the first couple laps would be good, fantastic, and then it comes down, then it's really hard to get consistent. It would come in and the tire would be flat. So hopefully we all just, Donald just did a good job fixing that. Uh, let's check it out next session. watching um, all the way up to, to, to here yeah I definitely got a lot of patience um, you yes I mean that was a great day uh, you know first time in a go-kart for a very very long time you know at a proper go-kart you know of course driven some indoors uh, but yeah I mean, that was just definitely a start of one of my last dreams uh, you know post cancer dreams so you know I had three dreams when I when I finally recovered from cancer, and um, this is just the last one, and you know, this, I'm really, really excited. This is gonna be the start of it. Um, yeah, I had a great time. Um, finally, starting to get a feel of the go kart, uh, kind of understanding how to drive it, and you know, how much brake pressure, the steering. Um, and, you know, and we got, you know, we got a couple more, one or two months, three months left in the summer. So, but looking forward to getting into maybe getting to some of the local club races. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to it. And you know, but unfortunately we had to cut the day short. Uh, and you're wondering why I'm you know, recording this back at home. Is, um, you know, one of the part of the dream was actually having Darren enjoy a go-kart with me. And 
So he actually got out, got out there for a session, um, uh, did a couple laps, pretty slow, of course, he's pretty intimidated. Um, and unfortunately, on his second session, uh, he just drove off the track. Um, still don't know why, yeah, of course, you know, his feedback wouldn't be right. He just said, you know, this whole thing just wouldn't turn. Uh, probably understeered or probably locked up the brakes. But unfortunately, he exited the track uh, punched through a tire barrier and that kind of just bent the steering shaft and the um, <coughs> one of the control arms, a uh, spindles, the spindle. Um, so have, haven't got the exact bill yet, but we're looking at probably a couple hundred dollars at least uh, with parts and labor. Uh, he's pretty shaken up, probably <laughs> uh, don't want to do it again. So it's kind of my fault, maybe I pushed him a little too hard. Um, he's kind of asking me to, you know, kind of practice, practice a little bit on Gran Turismo before. Uh, now he doesn't even want to go to an indoor go-kart track, so he's probably a little, he's probably quite shaken. Um, and, you know, I kind of, I just realized, uh, you know, I've taught so many people to drive, but I realized I'd never had to talk, teach a child who never driven a car before. You know, the concept of understeer, oversteer, locking up the wheel, uh, is non-existent, so I am actually I'm in uncharted territory in terms of teaching somebody on the drive. So definitely some learning on that side for me too. So yeah, looking forward to the the next time. I think in two weeks time we have another race in Monterey. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some testing there and see if I can get into a race. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.